ladies and gentlemen, you know, there's something very prophetic that's going on in this world right now. And just keep your eye on this because it's very significant. There is a major violent uprising going on in Iran right now. And it's been people have been killed. The country is on fire. There's fights out in the streets. It's pretty bad. Trump is very happy about this, by the way. And many are believing that the U.S. and Israel is the one behind this entire uprising that's taking place over in Iran. And we all know what happens when the U.S. destabilize a country. It's never the same. Now, I want you to see a little bit of the Bible prophecy. Now, there's been things prophesied about the Medes and the Persians. Now, the Medes are the Northern Iranians, okay? And we know the Iranians are also referred to as the Persians. Now, there have been many prophecies about how the Persians and the Medes will destroy Babylon which is your modern day America. So the scriptures that you will find um, Babylon being destroyed by the Medes and, and the Persians is in Isaiah 13, Jeremiah 25, Jeremiah 51, that chapter, um, Daniel, second chapter, these are all prophecies, okay, of the Persians and the Medes destroying Babylon. Now, this is an early prophecy concerning the Medes. Um, the first mention of the Medes in scripture is found in the prophetic utterance of Isaiah when he declared 175 years before it was fulfilled, behold, I will stir up the Medes against them, which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it, Isaiah 13, verse 17. In succeeding verses, the downfall of Babylon is predicted. Babylon is modern-day America, and Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldeans, excellency, shall be as when Yah overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. So the downfall of Babylon will be the same as the downfall of Sodom and Gomorrah. So look out to what's happening, you know, because Jeremiah in Jeremiah 25, 25, Jeremiah also states that the Medes will be used of uh, by Yah to destroy Babylon. So Trump is very happy over this um, protest that's going on. You know, he's really enjoying this. But let me show you what's going on in Iran right now. Just let me show you these clips that are coming out all over. Let me see if I can make this big.
it's the January. Okay. All right, y'all. So you saw that, right? Now, believe me, the leadership over in Iran is fully aware of who got this uprising started in their country. They know Israel and the U.S. is behind this whole thing. Okay, what better way to destabilize a country? Because that's all the U.S. knows how to do is destabilize a country. They, they sure it all invade countries and then make the country better. We haven't seen that anywhere in the history. So they know who is behind this. They know. They're fully aware and they are prepared to do whatever it takes to stop the rallies and see Iran don't play. They will go out there and slaughter these people if that's what it takes to make them stop. But just know this is very prophetic, very prophetic. Um, in fact, hold on one second. I'm going to pause this for a second. I'll be right back. Okay, this is what I wanted to pull up so you could see this. Today, Trump went online and sent out this tweet about Iran. He's very happy about this uprising going on over there. Donald J. Trump, and this tweet went out January 2nd, 2018 at 7.09 a.m. The people of Iran are finally acting against the brutal and corrupt Iranian regime. All of the money that President Obama, who's not president anymore, former President Obama, so foolishly gave them into terrorism and into their pockets, the people have little food, big inflation, and no human rights. The U.S. is watching. Yeah, you're watching because you're behind this whole thing. <laughs> okay? Yeah, you're watching. So you can see he's very happy over this uprising. But if Bible prophecy is correct, this uprising is going to backfire on the U.S. big time. Okay, big time. And believe me, um, the Ayatollah is fully aware. He knows who's behind this whole thing. And this is why he is speaking out against America and say, we will defeat you on all levels. You know, they're not playing. Now, I could play this video. You're going to have to read the caption, but it's not in English at all. So just keep your eye on what's happening, ladies and gentlemen, because this is very significant, especially in these last days. You're going to see a lot of prophecy becoming fulfilled. And, you know, just like it says, it's going to be wars and rumors of wars. And this happening at the very beginning of the year and just look at everything that's happening. It's been several mass shootings. It has been um, this major uprising going on over in Iran. And this is how this year is kicking off. You know, and a lot of violence is going on. So keep your eye on this and go over the chapters that talk about the Persians and Medes defeating Babylon. I will leave the link to um, this website in the description box. That way you can come out and read this. And that way you have a full understanding on what's going to take place in these last days as far as wars are concerned. Now we know a big world war is definitely going to happen. But just know that first attack is going to be between the Persians and Babylon. And what do we see right now? The Persians <laughs> and Babylon, very happy that the country is falling apart over there in Iran. Not a coincidence, y'all. Please leave your comment and subscribe. And don't forget to hit on that notification bell and also please join me over on Black Junction TV and over on blackspot.com. Peace, family.